Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Krenat and today we got yet another boutique guitar that we need to talk about. And today's video is going to be about the Cozy TL by Kaufmann Guitars, which you're probably not familiar with because they just started doing these models. I think I'm one of the first YouTubers to check these out and man, are these special. But first of all, before we start talking about them, let's listen to it in a track and see what it can do. And after that, we're going to talk about the specs, about what Kaufmann is and all that good stuff. So see you in a bit. enjoyed the track and the solo and as always you're gonna have a Google Drive link to the backing track I'm trying to make all these backing tracks myself if you want to download them there's a link under the description down below download them use them as you wish and if you want to you can tag me on social media if you use it, the, the backing track so I can listen to, to your solos that would be awesome another thing worth mentioning is that my friends at Truefire are still running the 50% off coupon so if you want to buy something from Truefire you can use Krenar50 as a promo code and you're gonna get 50% off of your purchase which I think is a really really good deal now if you don't know what Truefire is it's basically the biggest and the best learning platform on the internet for guitar players there's thousands of videos thousands of lessons from hundreds and hundreds of great players check it out and if you if you're interested in, in a lesson or anything like that just use the coupon and you're gonna get 50% off so with that out of the way let's talk about Kaufmann guitars now Kaufmann guitars is actually a regular guitar shop that sells guitar like any other guitar shop would do. They stock high-end guitars such as Novos for example, Maybach guitars, Eastman's and they have a really really nice selection when it comes to being a guitar shop. And what's special about them is the fact that they started building their own guitars as well. So they started their own brand of guitars. Following the footsteps of other builders, Kaufmann started building S-type guitars uh, so inspired by Stratocasters, Telecasters, Les Pauls and ES335 and they look amazing, but they also came up with this, which is a totally original design by them. And they called it the Cozy. Now, as far as I understand, they call it the Cozy because it just sits in your lap, it's really balanced, and it's real comfortable to play. Hence the name Cozy, which I think suits this guitar very well. As of right now, I believe it's a very small operation, and I think the, one of the owners of Kaufmann Guitars actually builds these by himself, does the QC and everything. And in all honesty, I feel like a lot of hours have been put into making this guitar. Regarding the shape, I actually read a article that they posted on their website, and what they said is they were inspired to build something that would be relevant in the 60s. And if you look at it from afar, it definitely fits the bill of being something that would have been invented or designed in the 60s. But if you come closer to it and if you look at the, the specifications and everything, you're gonna realize that it's a really modern guitar, starting from the fact that it has a roasted maple neck, a Telecaster bridge, a cut Telecaster bridge, with compensated saddles for better intonation, bigger frets and all that, and that just makes it a very playable guitar in my opinion. When it comes to the build quality of this guitar, I don't think anything can top it, and especially for the price which we're going to talk about later. In my opinion, there's this one thing that puts Kaufmann guitars in a really good advantage for building such amazing guitars, and that's the fact that they own a shop which sells really high-end guitars, and what they can do is they can take inspiration when it comes to the build quality of those guitars and apply them to these, and I think that's what makes these guitar, guitars amazing. I mean, they probably don't do it directly just thinking about it, but they would probably have to play all the guitars to see if they work, to see how they sound, and to sell it to their customers. So indirectly, they're, they're playing amazing guitars all the time, and that translates to this, which is also incredible. 
All right, so let's talk about specs and everything. I have a spec sheet right here and I'm gonna read through it. But first, go under the description down below. There's a link that I'm gonna put in to a video that the guys at Kaufman made. It's a really, really awesome mockumentary about how the guitar came to be and I find it to be very entertaining and I think you're definitely gonna get a kick out of that. So check that out, you're not gonna be disappointed. Now, talking about specifics, the first thing that you're gonna find on the spec sheet is the date when the guitar was practically born. And in this case, it's the 4th of March of 2022, which is fairly recent. The dealer is Kaufmann's Guitar Store and the order and serial number say KM Shop. The model, as mentioned earlier, is a Cozy TL in this magnificent age Lake Placid Blue, which I really, really like. Next to the color, we have the TTT level, which in this case is medium. Now, the TTT stands for Time Travel Treatment, in short, aging and we have a lot of finish checking going on. We have some marks on the body, on the back of it, and I think it looks phenomenal. Now for the body wood, we have Polonia. Now Polonia is really known for its resonance and its light weight, and in this case, it translates to this guitar being only 2.860 kilograms, which is very, very light, and it feels really, really balanced. And as mentioned, Polonia is a really resonant wood, which makes the guitar sing, and it's really loud acoustically. For the neck wood, we have a Cortison maple neck, roasted maple neck, and it has this nice satin finish to it. It has this great hue and it looks incredible and it actually plays better than it looks to be honest. The fingerboard is Indian rosewood with a 10 inch radius. The nut is a tusk nut. On the spec sheet, we also have some specific information when it comes to the nut width, thickness at the first fret and thickness at the 12th fret. Now, if I put it into words, it just feels like a regular C-shaped neck. Very comfortable, it's not thick at all. It's actually on the thinner side. Uh, I mean, I can read the specs as well. The nut width is 43 millimeters and the thickness at the first fret is 21.6 millimeters. And the thickness at the 12th fret is 24 millimeters. The fret wire itself is 6150, very big frets and I really like how, how they feel under the fingers. Uh, the bridge is uh, a Goto T-style bridge and the tuners are also Goto made in Japan. When it comes to the pickups, these came loaded with cream tea BFG bangers, which are really nice high-end pickups and they're very articulate and they have a really nice soft uh, feel to them when you, when, you, when you play them. 500k volume and 500k tone pots. As I said, the weight is uh, 2.860 kilograms and it comes with a deluxe rock bag gig bag. We can read specs all day, but what I can tell you is from my personal experience is that this guitar is just really well balanced, really resonant, and it plays really well and it's set up amazingly. So no complaints in that department whatsoever. I, it's a very versatile guitar, but uh, I can't just talk. We're gonna hear the guitar play. And then after that, we're gonna hear my two cents about this guitar and if it's worth getting. So first of all, let's go and see how this guitar sounds. I'm gonna plug into the HX Stomp XL, going through the Litigator amp model, and I'm gonna uh, go through all the pickup positions, clean and dirty, and after that, we're gonna get with my two cents, so I'll catch you really soon.
you enjoyed the tones and this guitar in general. Now, I am a big, big fan of this guitar. From the moment that I opened the case, I was like, holy damn, this is really nice. Pickups are awesome. Uh, the body shape is amazing. It looks really nice. It feels really nice to play. I mean, as soon as you grab it, you just don't want to let go of it, which is a really nice attribute to have. Uh, it's just perfect. Now, quality comes with a price. And in this case, the guitar would cost you around 2,700 euros, more or less. That's not an affordable guitar, but as I said, it's really, really nice. And you have to consider that it's made in Europe. It's made by one guy only. And I think it's just beautiful. And most importantly, it feels really nice to play. I mean, if you want something from the same quality and the same uniqueness, uh, you would probably have to go with Novo, which comes to mind when you see this guitar. And Novos tend to cost you like four or five thousand, especially if you're in Europe. Probably the only place that you're going to be able to find Novos is Kaufmann Guitars. But uh, I mean, if you're looking for a Novo and you're in Europe and you come across uh, Kaufmann Guitars, just check their closing line. Why not? I just love it. It's perfect. And if you don't like humbuckers or you already have a Les Paul or something like that and you want something different, Good thing about Kaufman guitars is that they offer a guitar in every combination you could possibly think of. Uh, different types of tremolos, Duesenberg tremolos, um, Telecaster, Tunomatics, and Telecaster pickups and Strat pickups, whatever you want, they probably have it. And there's also a custom shop uh, order that you can make. You can decide if you want double binding, which they have everything listed on their website so definitely check that out for references i'm gonna keep my two cents really short and just say that this guitar is absolutely perfect and i love everything about it and i would love to own it if you have any questions about this guitar specifically or about kaufman guitars leave them under the comment section down below and i'm gonna do my best to answer them if i don't know the answers i'm gonna just relay all the messages to kaufman guitars as they sent me this guitar to check out and I'm really, really thankful for that. And again, you make it possible for me to try out these guitars by subscribing and liking to the channel, which is something that I really appreciate. And never in a million years would I ever thought that I'm gonna be able to try out so many boutique guitars in the comfort of my own home here. So thank you so much for doing that. And if you haven't already, please consider to subscribe to the channel. That really helps me a lot. Uh, I'm doing some really nice investments in the channel and you're gonna see that Maybe you're not going to see that because it's going to be in the background. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited where the channel is heading at. And again, if you want to support, the best thing you can do is subscribe and like this video. So with that out of the way, I'm going to close the video right here. And I'm going to wish you a great one and stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.